so we're all back together let's do some quick basic tests with the meter unfortunately i'm not an actual proper ee i'm just a hobbyist i don't really have a full setup here i don't even really have a lab so i don't have a bench power supply and i don't really have a bench reference meter to compare just how accurate this is against say a voltage standard what i can tell you however is just how fast this meter operates, how smoothly it operates, and whether it seems to exhibit any sort of quirky behavior. I might as well give you some basic specs on this meter while I get set up here. It does have a DC voltage range of anywhere from 600 millivolts to 1000 volts across five ranges. On the DC voltage, it's accuracy to within one half of 1% plus or minus five counts. AC voltage, um, it's 6 to 1,000 volts over four ranges. Um, this unit does include a low pass filter, so you can cut out kind of the higher end harmonics. Where this meter may fall a little flat for electronics engineers is in its current measuring capabilities. This is their middle range, they consider this general purpose. It's only got two ranges of 6 and 10 amps. It will measure down to milliamps, but you won't get very high resolution out of it. If you want a higher resolution in those low current ranges, Hioki does have the next step up in this family, which is the DT4253. It costs about $180 to $190, and it does have a proper microamp and milliamp range on it. However, it won't go into the full amps. So if you need a meter that can do everything from microamps up to 10 amps, you need to step up to Hioki's high-end meter range or look elsewhere because they don't have anything in this middle tier that will do that far of a span. This is a true RMS meter, and what I do like about it is when you're measuring AC, it's a dual-line display. It'll show you both the voltage and the frequency on the upper portion of the display. So like I said, I can't really measure accuracy of the readings because I have nothing to measure accuracy against. However, we can at least see how fast it can take a reading. And I've got a fresh nine volt battery here, so let's set this thing to DC volts. One thing that you may be seeing is that you don't get the best contrast off this screen at every angle. You do get better contrast if the screen is slightly away from you like this. You can probably see that better. That said, the meter does have a backlight on the screen and that does help. The backlight has a default 10 second timer. However, if you start the meter while holding down the backlight button, set it into any range, you'll see it says backlight auto off. Then all you have to do is turn it on and it will stay on. That's a nice feature. You do get a full battery gauge up in here in the corner, and it's not just a low battery warning, it's actually a full three segment gauge. According to the manual, I have not tested this, but according to the manual, the low battery indicator will come on at four volts. So you've got two volts to play with. I think that's pretty reasonable across AAA batteries. They claim a average battery life of continuous use with the backlight off of about 130 hours. And for AAAs with how easy they are to replace, I'm not gonna complain about that. So here's a quick look at the screen with the backlight on. It's overall a very even backlight and I appreciate that they used white LEDs. There are a couple of small hotspots down here in the corners, but in general usage, you won't really notice those too much. They're not bad. The screen has a nice overall even brightness to it, and it really helps the digits stand out very nicely. So here's our 9 volt. Let's just see how quickly we get a reading off of this meter. And you do get a nice beep when it detects the voltage like that, and then when it goes back to zero. You'll notice the bar graph down at the bottom both the bar graph and the display change very quickly. This is a fast meter. The beeper on this meter is actually very pleasant to listen to. I, I've listened to some meters that are really, really annoying. 
Um, this one is not a beeper that I would complain too much about. Here's another little rig that I've got. It's just a pair of double A's and some holders kind of taped together here. Let's see if we get any different results with a slightly lower voltage. I don't think we will. And you can see we dropped into a lower range. So of course the bar graph is halfway across and we're measuring 3.195194 volts. This meter is specified for five updates per second of the screen. This is a 6,000 count meter, which is also really not bad for the price range. Um, I think this meter in its basic specs and functionality kind of give Fluke and Agilent a run for their money. I believe this is better constructed as well. I just love the feel on this meter.